My name is Robin Bowden. I'm a farm manager for a, a West Country based farming company. We're farming five dairy herds across Devon and Cornwall, so we would be a, a large scale producer. The, the problem at the moment is really is, is oversupply. Despite the fact that we're in the EU and that we're actually selling into a global market now, so uh, at the moment there is too much produced in the world which means we're, uh, China has dropped back its consumption because of their economic sort of slowdown. Um, they were taking a lot of skim milk products, now they're not. So uh, that's sort of knock on or effect on the, the world generally. Um, New Zealand is still obviously a massive importer. The Americans are exporters, sorry, New Zealand exporters. And uh, so yeah, we're, you know, there's, we are in a surplus situation and that is where we find ourselves with a milk price. We can survive. We're a low cost producer, um, so we sell relatively low litres per cow, but quite high margin per litre. Um, so we can stand a milk price like this for a short time. We, we can pay our bills and we can stand this milk price, but what it stops us doing is we can't reinvest in our business like we would like to. You know, the, the machinery gets older, the, we're constantly under pressure, environmental pressures if you like, environment agency, people like that on slurry storage and we're in an environment, we're in a, a nitrogen sensitive area, so we have to have slurry storage and things like that. And uh, all of those things are massively expensive things. And, uh, you know, our milk price isn't giving us some money to invest in those things like we would like to. So we can keep, go we can keep trading on a day-to-day -day basis and we keep paying our bills. What we can't do is take the business forward, really. If a, a farmer is a landowner, um, then they, uh, they've obviously got a, a very high value asset, if you like and uh, a lot of farmers would be what you might call asset rich and cash poor. Um, so the banks are quite ready to, to lend to farms because they, uh, they have this, uh, this massive asset base. But uh, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, if farms go bust, then, you know, it, it will yeah, it'd be devastating, really. It'd be farms would be repossessed, that will have a knock-on effect on the price of land and things like that. So, yeah, it, would, uh, it, yeah, it wouldn't be good, no then uh, I'm pretty certain that, uh, that the consumer would be prepared to pay a higher price for their, uh, for their milk if, for one, they thought that that little bit of extra money was going to the farmer, not to the processor or the retailer, um, then I think people would be prepared to pay more for their, for their milk. But the problem is not all milk goes into liquid milk. Some goes into cheese and uh, obviously the amount of milk that goes into a cheese, into cheese means it's, it's quite a lot of litres, so you would need quite a big increase to have that knock back onto the milk price, if you like. So cheese would go up by quite a lot of money, is what I'm saying, to, to you know, whereas a 4 or 5p on a litre of milk going back to the farmer, they would probably stand, but whether they would stand 40, 50p or more on a kilo of cheese is, is slightly debatable. But um, also, you know, other milk goes into skim milk products and things like that. So, uh, you know, it's not all liquid milk, if you like. So that wouldn't necessarily solve the problem, but it would possibly help. You know, I've really enjoyed my work. Um, I've done it now for 30 plus years. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's a fantastic way of life. You know, I, I get up, you know, when the kids were small, I'd quite often go out to work in the morning, come back and breakfast with the children before they went to school. There was um, a very flexible sort of day. I might work long hours, but I can get time in the middle of the day, things like that. I enjoy working outside. Um, I enjoy working with animals. There's, um, yeah, there's, there's a lots of positives with it. And uh, I, would certainly, uh, I would certainly look to sell my career, if you like, to, to young people you know, coming in from outside agriculture, particularly people with you know fresh outlooks on things to you know to you know to revitalize agriculture if you like and uh, I think at the moment I, I feel that you know I've had a, a really worthwhile career and I've really enjoyed it all and I, I've got a lot out of it and 
I feel that I would like to get young people in and I feel the agricultural colleges are a little bit letting us down at times and as much as they try to market agriculture at the, the you know the the end of the market where people who are sort of say not as bright as some and you know th that isn't what we need what we need are really bright intelligent people not we have less and less manual work to do now you know a lot of it is uh, is work that we need bright intelligent people to, to do it and uh, and that is what uh, I feel yeah, we should yeah. be looking at really